The Wilfley Model AF pump is designed to move highly corrosive liquids. Like all Wilfley acid pumps, it is performance tested before it is shipped. Its back pull-out design makes it easy to disassemble. Simply leave the pump casing in place and pull the power end and wetted end out from the back of the pump. It is a good practice to replace all O-rings and gaskets and check all parts for damage or wear. Make sure the impeller and expeller are clear and the shaft rotates freely. Complete assembly instructions can be found in the AF operating handbook. Please refer to the handbook for all specifications and parts lists. Press the thrust drive sleeve spacer bushings and plug into the thrust drive sleeve. Be careful not to break the thrust drive sleeve bushings. They are made of carbon and are fragile. Fit all bearing caps with felt rings that have been coated with a light oil. Place the rear bearing cap inner into the thrust drive sleeve and install the bearing. Use a new lock nut and lock washer whenever replacing the bearings. Frame sizes 3, 4, and 5 use two bearings on the thrust drive sleeve. Install the front bearing on the shaft and lock into place with a new lock nut and washer. This bearing must be mounted correctly to handle the thrust loads on the shaft. Attach governor weights to the governor sleeve. These weights must be identical. Place the case plate face down on a flat surface. Lightly lubricate the case plate labyrinth ring gasket and place it over the studs of the case plate. Slide the case plate labyrinth ring onto the case plate. Place the stationary seal ring into the stationary seal ring housing. Place the stationary seal ring housing and gasket onto the case plate labyrinth ring and attach with nuts and washers. You can leave these nuts finger tight at this time. They will need to be adjusted later. Slip the rotary seal ring gasket and rotary seal ring onto the hub of the expeller. Fit the case wear ring onto the case. A gasket is required for this part in frames 3, 4, and 5. Now we will begin to put together these sub-assemblies. Slide the thrust drive sleeve assembly into the frame and bolt on the bearing caps. The rear bearing cap has an opening that allows grease to reach the bearings. Be sure that it matches up with the zerk fitting on the frame. Place the front bearing cap inner and governor sleeve into the frame cavity. Carefully slide the shaft assembly through the frame, front bearing cap inner, governor sleeve assembly, and thrust drive assembly. Bolt the front bearing caps together. Secure the governor sleeve assembly to the shaft. Attach the governor springs to the governor sleeve and thrust drive sleeve. The spring bend should correspond with the spring direction diagram on the governor weight. Tighten all governor spring cap screws. Then back off the screw a half a turn to ensure room for the proper spring movement. 
Test the movement of the shaft by prying the shaft sleeve forward. The shaft should slide forward smoothly and snap back. Bolt the pump bracket onto the frame. Slide the shaft sleeve and gasket onto the shaft. Fit the case plate assembly, drain spout down, on the pump bracket. Coat the threads of the shaft with non-seizing material and screw the impeller onto the shaft. Slightly lubricate the case plate gasket and fit it onto the case plate. Bolt the case to the bracket. To set the seals, pry the governor's sleeve forward several times. When the shaft slides smoothly, then the seals are aligned. Tighten the stationary seal ring housing bolts alternately to ensure even alignment of the seals. You've assembled your Wilfley AF pump and now you're ready to put it to work. Secure the safety guards. Be sure the bearings have been properly greased. Please do not over-grease the bearings. Bearings that are over-greased can overheat and wear prematurely. Store the pump in a dry location away from any vibration to prevent rusting or bearing damage. Place the pump as close to the liquid source as possible so the suction pipe can be short and direct. The pump should be easy to get to so it can be inspected while it's running and easily maintained. Choose a solid foundation. Make sure the intake and discharge pipes are supported separately. Most importantly, always run the pump and motor in the proper direction. Starting the pump backwards or running it backwards may cause serious damage to the internal parts. Check the rotation of the motor by briefly starting it while it is disconnected from the pump assembly. The motor must be rotating in the same direction as shown by the red arrow on the pump case. Make sure the pump, motor, and coupling or belt drives are aligned. This prevents excessive vibration while it's running. See your operating handbook for a checklist of safety precautions. Throughout its history, Wilfley has produced sound, reliable products using the latest technology. Wilfley builds tough pumps. They last. Wilfley stands behind its products with outstanding customer service, including free engineering assistance. The company's toll-free number connects you with professionals who can help you solve your problems. Wilfley has a large inventory of parts to keep your pumps running as they should, and Wilfley welcomes pumps back to the factory for rebuild. Wilfley is your partner for the life of your pump. For nearly three quarters of a century, Wilfley has been solving the most demanding pumping problems in the world. Wilfley, offering durability, quality, and customer service.